Emiratu Kanu, I'm too good to fail. It has been almost nine months since Emiratu Kanu removed herself from the tennis circuit. Much has happened on the tour in that time, including the crowning of a left field Wimbledon champion, anyone remember Marketa von Drausova, and a maiden Grand Slam title for fellow teenage prodigy Coco Gauff. Now a remodeled Radu Kanu is preparing for her first major since that lengthy pit stop. And judging by Friday's pre-tournament press conference, she harbors few doubts her engine will soon be revving at full speed. As Radu Kanu told reporters, I think my level, to be honest, is just too good not to come through if I put consistent work together. One thing Radu Kanu has never lacked is belief. She spent much of 2021 ambushing more seasoned pros, who melted in the face of her poise and self-assurance. Now we are about to see Radu Kanu return to her preferred habitat, a show court at a Grand Slam. Her Australian Open campaign is due to open on either Monday or Tuesday against the USA's Shelby Rogers. The early signs are positive. The soreness which afflicted Radu Kanu earlier this week, leading her to pull out of exhibition matches on Wednesday and Thursday, has eased to such a degree that, on Friday, fellow Britain Jody Burridge reported that Emma was absolutely creaming the ball in training. And there is also a different aura around Radu Kanu, a sense of a woman who has stepped back and reconsidered her whole approach to tennis. This is a very different Radu Kanu to the hag-ridden figure who offered 58 words in answer to 16 questions in her most recent meeting with the British press. Since her US Open miracle, she has had three main problems, the weight of expectation, the preponderance of injuries and the constant turnover of coaches. Even if a couple of these issues may yet recur, most likely NOS 2 and 3, she has at least found a brief respite from the churn, with her body behaving and her training progressing smoothly under old ally Nick Cavate. I asked him because he coached me as head coach of the Bromley Tennis Center when I was between 10 and 12, said Radu Kanu of Cavate. We're just taking it how it goes. It's been working really well so far. I of course hope to continue with him because I feel very comfortable with him. I know his sister former British number 3 Naomi Cavate really well because, like, everyone is from Bromley. So big up the Bromley. Cavate, 37, could potentially resolve one of Rajakanu's ongoing issues, the fact she is naturally skeptical about coaches, both in terms of their ability and their trustworthiness. As she said in June last year, people in the industry, see me as a piggy bank. Increasingly, it seems as if the only advisors Radu Kanu doesn't suspect of trying to exploit her are those she worked with before she became famous, a category that contains Cavate, some of the fitness staff at the Lawn Tennis Association, and Jane O'Donoghue, the coach-turned-banker who accompanied her in Auckland a fortnight ago.